Hello, cassette community. One thing I love about cassettes, as opposed to any other format of, of music, is you can, you can come home with a bag full of goodies for five bucks. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. So let's get right down to it. I got some good stuff here. Um, it was funny because, well, this these were at um, the Mary S. Roberts Pet Adoption Center thrift shop. And um, usually they have their tapes in one spot. And and so I went there and I saw the, basically the same number of tapes. And I was like, oh, great. They're not going to have anything new. Um, I looked through them anyway. And I actually found three new ones. And I was like, well, these aren't ones I'm really excited about. So maybe I'll just pass. So I went to look around the corner to look at some of the vinyl. And there was a, a box top filled with tapes. I was like, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yeah, All right. this first one, I'm, I'm certain I already have it, but it was, it was a, a pretty clean copy of it. And um, so we have in excess kick, yes. So, you know, I was glad to pick up another copy of things. Um, as long as it's a good album and it's in good condition and you never know, you might want to sell it or whatever. <clears throat> this one I did not have. Eurythmics, We Two Are One. But this is one of the original three uh, that I was going to leave behind, even though I love Carly Simon. But um, Carly Simon, My Romance. Ah, uh, yes, some U2, Octung Baby. Octung. <laughs> now, I was once told to read this book. It's a very short, a very short book. Um, but sometimes I have, I have issues dealing with change. And in one of my jobs in particular, my job was frequently changing, and I had a lot of difficulties with it. So there's a book called Who Moved My Cheese, and this is the audio version of it. Supposedly, you know, it, it helps you um, basically accept change. Uh, I guess primarily in, you know, the workplace, but yeah. I, I've never seen this one before, but... Um, and I still haven't found out how to pronounce his name, but it's Chuck Mangione, Alive. I was glad to pick up some uh, Spandau Ballet, the singles collection. Um, I don't know if you can see it here. I have a, a hat pin. It's Doctor Who related. I'm not gonna bother showing it, but when I was in, I believe, sixth grade, um, I had a very, very small group of, of friends that um, we, I guess hat pins were, were very big at the time and very collectible, buttons and such, you know. Um, and so we, we would trade them, um, yeah. And somehow I ended up with a Spandau Ballet um, pin even though I had never heard of them at that point, or at least had not heard anything by them, but somehow in a trade, I ended up with one of their buttons. <laughs> but I have since learned to like them. So Spandau Ballet, singles collection, there you go. <clears throat> this is another one of the, the first, first three that I found, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna pass on it. Uh, but it's uh, Jimmy Dorsey and his orchestra featuring Helen O'Connell. <clears throat> oh, my wife is going to be excited about this one. Uh, B-52's Good Stuff. <laughs> Good Stuff. 
Um, I swear someone showed this recently in the vinyl community. Um, but it's it's Otmar Liebert and Luna Negra. Negra. Got to roll the tongue there. <laughs> and it's Solo Para Ti. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah. I think this might be my one and only Fine Young Cannibals tape. I don't think I already have it. I'm pretty sure I don't. So, um... Fine Young Cannibals, The Raw and The Cooked. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> this was the, the third one that I was like, it, it's cool, but I'm, I might pass on it. But um, Because I found all these other tapes, I was like, yeah, I might as well get the other three, too. I was considering them, so... Uh, Glenn, Muir, Glenn Miller Gold Collection. The Glenn Miller Gold Collection. <clears throat> um, some Gatto Barbieri. Barbieri? <laughs> Ooh, slaughtered that name. Anyway, uh, but this is Caliente Hot. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, then we have some Count Basie and his orchestra, Showtime. Uh, I might already ha have this one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I don't think I do. Um, but it's Annie Lennox, Diva. I might have it, actually. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can show those together. Yeah. Anyway, I'll skip to this one. <clears throat> um, Enigma. Love, love, love it. Oh, love it. Um, this is the MCMXCAD. <laughs> Roman numerals are confusing. Give me a break. <laughs> oh, some uh, tenors on tour. Carreras, Domingo, and Pavarotti. Popular favorites by the world's best love tenors. Nice. Some, uh... Now, I'm not going to bleep this out, but it is King Missile, Mystical Shit. Mystical shit. <laughs> oh man. Mystical shit. Can we say that on YouTube? Of course you can. <laughs> I doubt any children watch my my channel anyway. Um, just a few more. Um, these next two, very excited about. This is the album that I'm familiar with. Uh, Crash Test Dummies. Um, God Shuffled His Feet. I think this is the one. And Crash Test Dummies, The Ghosts That Haunt Me. I don't think I've ever seen this one. So very pleased to find that. This is a tape from my youth. I mean, this particular one, this particular copy is not from my youth. But we totally, totally had this on cassette uh, when I was a kid. Yes. <laughs> well, I guess I would have been a teenager at that point. Anyway. Are you ready? It's Christmas related. And th Do you remember this? Jingle Cats. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and... I, he probably doesn't watch my, my videos, but I'll, I'm going to give a shout out to Brett Helm. He's a big, big cat lover, and I would be very surprised if he didn't have this in his collection. Um, I would be very surprised. <laughs> Jingle Cats. Meowy Christmas. Meowy Christmas. <laughs> And the cool thing about this one, and I don't think the copy from my youth was like this. 
I think I would have remembered, but it's on clear a clear red shell. Nice. Let me tell you, colored cassettes are just about as exciting as colored vinyl. Just about as exciting for me. Anyway, that's it. Anyway, um, there you go, Jingle Cats. Let's get a good look at it. There you go. And thank you so much for watching, and Meowie Christmas.